Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can disable driver signature enforcement on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. It will be a really brief video. So here, just click on your Windows icon here and then click on this power icon and uh, you need to restart your computer but first you need to press shift key before pressing restart okay so press shift key at the same time click on restart button and now you can see this menu here so you will be able to see this menu when you press the shift key and then click on the restart button on your windows 10 operating system now in this menu you need to choose this option which says troubleshoot and then choose this option which says advanced options and here you will be able to see so many options what we need to do is we need to click on this option which says startup settings so i'm going to just click on this option and then you will be able to see this window here you can see this option already which says disable driver signature enforcement right so if you click on the restart button here you will be able to see the next menu so i will click on the restart button and now i can see this option here which says press a number to choose from the options below and also it says use number keys or function keys f1 to f9 so in this menu, you can see the option we are looking for is this option, disable driver signature enforcement, which is the number seven option here. So because it's number seven and it appears on my computer at number seven, so most probably you need to press F7 in order to disable driver signature enforcement on your Windows 10 operating system. So let me press F7 here and it's going to restart your computer and once you do that your computer will restart and you will see this login window and you just need to log in with your password again and then you have successfully disabled the driver signature enforcement on your windows 10 operating system so this is how you can disable driver signature enforcement on your windows 10 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video